Okay, hello my darlings. Good afternoon, good evening, good anymore. I'll just do a short intro. I apologize for this very impromptu midweek hangout, but this was a sort of an emergency situation where we had a guest, a special guest that was willing to come on, and it's late where she is, so we wanted to do this very quickly. And without further ado, whether you know her or not, this is the one and only, the ex or current wife of Modine, Mona Moon. Say mo hi, Mona. <laughs> hey, everyone. How are you guys doing? <laughs> All right. And, um, oh, it looks like uh, we had another guest, but that guest dropped out because I guess um, he didn't want to. <laughs> he didn't want to be here. <laughs> That's all good. That's all good. Okay. Well, Mona, I don't want to really keep you long. Maybe, hopefully, we'll do another one of these uh, another time when it's a better time for you, because I know there's a big time difference where you are. But my uh, my main questions were about, uh, obviously, you are, I mean, you, know, you can tell everyone, you are Modine's ex or current wife, actually. You're legally still his wife, am I right? Yes, right. So you guys have never divorced. You are legally still married as far as Iraqi law is concerned. Yes, we, I'm okay. still his wife by law only. So so when Modine says to people he is single or he he's looking for a wife, technically he's not single. No, he's not. He's All lying. right. Okay, so... Uh, uh, what do you think about that? I mean, are you are you upset? Is this bothering you in any way? Is he what? Uh, him s saying that he's single to women out in the, you know over here in England. Does that bother you? No. Okay, so you you're okay with him just uh, finding another another woman? Before that, he should give me my rights. Like he should give me my divorce paper, and he can move on. Okay, okay, I'm so you're more than happy for him to divorce you. Yeah. Nice. So, okay, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. So we've established Modine is... I mean, but the thing is, don't you think he's just a big liar, though, when he tells people that he's single because he's, you know, he's still married? Yeah, and denying his own son. And, and his son. And, of course, yes, he has a son as well with you. But he's, um, I mean... He doesn't have much of a relationship with his son, does he? I don't know. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a bit, bit, bit. I mean, would you wish that he was a bit more involved, at least with his son? I tried to put to make him involved more, but he just don't care. All he care about is me. Yeah. Like when he tried to care about his son, he used him to reach me. I see. I see. So he's he's not really interested in. Having a relationship no. with his son, he's more interested in trying to get back at you. Yeah. I'm with you. Now, there, you know, could you explain to us why, you know, you don't want to be with him anymore? What happened, transpired between you and him? Uh, because I don't, want to, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I don't want to, you know, generate uh, anything that could be considered like me uh, giving you what, you know, saying the things you want to say. What happened between yeah. you and him that you want to divorce him? What did not happen, like, every worst thing you can imagine that comes in your head, like, beating me up, humiliating me in front of people. Wow. Uh, like, even beating me in the street, not just in front of the kid, like, every oh, wow. single thing, yeah. When when you say beat, uh, how how would you describe? I know this might be difficult for you, so I appreciate anything you don't want to answer. Just say, look, I don't want to talk like about that. Like beating me, punching me, kicking me, pulling me from my hair, smashing my head on the wall. Wow, wow. Okay, so so he was like hitting you quite quite severely. Now, is it true that uh, he broke your like cheekbone and you had to have plastic surgery on your face, nose? Yes. Is that is that yeah. true? I still have it. I still have it. Like, it's always going to stay the scar of the punch. Okay, okay. So you still have the scarring, but you did have to have some plastic surgery on your face? Just one. Just one. Uh, was it on your cheek, nose? This one. Oh, your cheek. Your cheek. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, like eye one. socket, cheekbone area. You can, see, you can see the scar right here. It's from the punch. He yes, had the scar yeah, on you were the saying. punch right here. 
punch I see. on his hand. I see. Now, is it, uh, I mean, is he lying when he says it was your brother's? Because he, Modine claims that it was your brother that did this. No, no. My brothers beat me up, true. But he's the one who smashed my face. Okay. Now, when you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to go on about this part. Although it is quite despicable that Modine would do such a thing to a woman. Now, for me, I think that exposing the kind of things Modine did for you to you is to simply expose his behavior because he behaves quite aggressively towards women in in the in the UK you know towards uh, women in in the park he is famous for throwing water on Sophia Lewis yeah, yes yeah and he's quite aggressive you know generally and we in the UK obviously we want to protect our women and we want to protect ladies and so we want to highlight men like him so that women don't sort of go with him, basically. Yeah. And that's the main reason why we're we're sort of scared of, you know, these kind of individuals, because we think they're going to harm women because they don't have any respect for women. You know, they don't they don't care. They don't they don't care about beating them up. But uh, the other side of things that I want to discuss is he's um, and again, Tell me when, when this is uncomfortable and you want to stop and then we will move to another subject. But was his sexual habits, did, did you find that he was, you know, would you say that he is inclined towards homosexuality? He used Viagra. He liked dildos. He likes he dildos. Yeah. He likes dildos. Now, he bought three. For himself or for you? He said he wants to use it on me. I said no. He took it and then he returned it like three, four months after. Oh, as in but he, he, said he, he returned used it. it to the shop? He said he used it once or twice. He used it for himself once or twice? Yeah. Okay, okay. Were well, these large dildos, small? You know, can you describe the size? <laughs> Did they vibrate <laughs> or were they just plastic? Plastic big dildos. Plastic big dildos, ladies and gentlemen. Plastic big dildos. Uh, can you describe the color? <laughs> it's beige. What? Sorry? Beige. Beige. Yeah. Sort of creamy brown. Yes. Okay. So he didn't have a thing about large, big black dildos then. It was just, just no. a creamy beige. Were they thick, thin? It's no. thick. You know what he used to call what he used to say he say if I ever get you to London you're gonna leave me for a big black dick. Oh, you are. That's what he used to say. All right, but yeah, but are there that many big black men in in Iraq? Like, no. So, your chat, you know, your options were small. But would he leave you for a big black dick? Is really the question that we're all wondering. <laughs> no, he already left me for a big black booty. You, you sorry, he did what? He left me for a big black booty. Ah, he so always he... got black porn. Oh, he went for a big black woman. Yes, a prostitute. A prostitute. In so... Piccadilly. I'm oh, sorry, go. Prostitute in Piccadilly. Oh, he picked up a black prostitute in Piccadilly. Okay. Um, does he go often with prostitutes? Yes, London the whole time. Okay. Okay. The the. I mean, I'm 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 just you know just guessing really. I mean, these are all alleged, by the way, because we don't actually have Modine here to uh, to defend himself. So I will preface that these are all uh, uh, Mona's testimony we don't have you know 100 percent evidence of everything and also modine by the way modine is uh welcome to um to to come back and and, and actually uh defend himself if he so wishes uh, the invitation is always open to come on the Bouncy hodi show. will deny everything trust me sorry i said hodin will deny everything you know hodin <laughs> Yes, of course he will deny it, but generally we it's 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 always fair to give the person an option to defend themselves. But uh, you you are basically confirming that he likes prostitutes and fairly medium to large size beige dildos. 
So yeah. those are those are the things that we we're just trying to confirm uh, that 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 happened. Did he like ask you at any time to like put a finger in his ass or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. He did that quite often. To lick his ass to you. To lick his ass. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Was it? Did he generally shower well before or? He's, he's what? Nasty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to get too detailed. No, 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 no details. But okay, so so he does like ass play. Yeah. Generally, okay, okay. That that explains. You see, what I'm trying to establish is whether Modine is actually homosexual, whether he likes, uh, you know, whether he has the habits of a man who likes homosexual acts you know things with his ass things in his ass that sort of thing and i'm trying to establish a pattern of behavior because from the day sophia lewis you know showed up at the park he was yeah. very interested in her far okay. more interested than anyone else at the park and i think this goes to the uh, the heart of this individual's mindset, like what he's thinking, what how he likes to behave. The problem is he's quite aggressive as well. So he has yeah. an aggressive side with women. So he likes, maybe maybe it's because he's gay. Do you believe that he has homosexual, te you know, like like he's gay on the inside, but he's holding it in, that kind of thing? Like, he can't show it to outside because people yeah. will judge him. I see. I but... wasn't going to expose him all that, like, not all this private info. But since he started chatting shit on me. Exactly. And started saying, telling people that I'm lying. Well, I'm done. I'm not going to be quiet anymore. Well, I He's mean, this was... denying the punch. Exactly. I mean, he has been saying that you are trying to get a lot of men on the internet to go with you and things like that. So he has been kind of, you know, use uh, what what do they call um, defaming your character? And you you know, um, uh, in this country would be um, would be considered um, what's it called, libel or slanderous. I mean, I think it's slander when it's spoken. Uh, but basically, he's been saying a lot of bad things about you, and you haven't really exposed a lot about him, have you? No. So what, um, I don't know, I mean, what, what would you consider, what would you want uh, as a future uh, between you and him, like the relationships, or what, what, are, your, what are you hoping to... Uh... I told him, gave me the divorce, yes. and returned the child passport, and you can see it. You can come and see your child anytime you want. He said, no, I want you back. I want to back as family. And now he's not coming because he wants to come and stay in my house. And I can't let him do that. He oh, can't... definitely. Definitely not. You can't have him anywhere near you. I mean, you can't trust uh, what he will do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I totally understand that. To be honest, um, because we've spoken before, I didn't want to get too involved in that side of things because I, I didn't know how comfortable you were. I was more, again, interested because a lot of people have been talking about Modine's homosexuality, basically. A lot of people have been suspecting that he does like um, sort of homosexual acts. He likes uh, ass and, and batty, you know, the backside. Uh, and also, do you think that he went with a lot of prostitutes in Morocco when he took the Morocco trip? Of course, man. Of course. Yeah. Is that is that the kind of thing he does when he goes on holiday? Like always, like since he was 14 years old. Wow. He's been going with prostitutes since he was 14 years old. Yeah, because his mom kicked him out here yeah, from the house when he was like 13. I see. And yeah. And he's just been, you know, used to having sex with prostitutes. Yes. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Um, and do you know why his mum kicked him out when he was so young? Because he was rude. Oh, I see. He was he was behaving badly. You know what? There is a woman 
uh, I can't even reach her because she blocked me a long time ago. She's one of his ex. She's from Iran. Her name is uh, Nili Habib. Okay. Nili Habib. He Nili used to be so bad before. Oh, sorry, we missed that. What would happen? He used to beat her. That's why she dumped him. Oh, okay, okay. You see, this this is what I'm talking about. This is like a pattern of behavior. This is someone who does these things uh, well, all the time. Yes, I'm sorry, you. say again. There is this guy who called Nico Jack. He says that Mona wants YouTube fame. Well, first, first of all, Nico... If I want to be famous, I can do a lot of things like dancing, singing, uh, like exploring Iraq, a lot of things, yeah? Exactly. So trust me, I'm here to, to, to warn people about Mo. I don't want any fame. I want no money. I want nothing. I just want like three things. My son passport, my divorce paper, and people to watch out from Mo. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, and that is something you've been asking for for a very long time, that that you just want him to give you the full divorce papers, custody of your boy, passport, and then that's it. He's out. Yeah. Um, to be honest, um, that was the bulk of my inquiries. I just needed to, you know, I just wanted other people out there to kind of know the kind of man that they're dealing with. Because, to be honest, uh, it's been a long time that I've been thinking about um, how to expose Modine's behavior. Now, he comes across as a very funny guy, a very cheeky, chappy kind of thing. But underneath, I feel that this is a very sinister individual. Would you would you say that some a person who's 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 funny on the outside but quite dangerous on the inside? He is. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is my thing. Um, so, um, so what would you tell another woman who was saying to you, you know, I'm thinking about going out with Modine? What kind of advice would you give him? Give her, Don't sorry. trust him, not even for one second. But, like, trust in what sense? That he would cheat on her or that he would beat her up or what sort of things? He will do a lot of horrible things to her. If she wants to sin, if she wants to obey him, if she wants to be the slave that he wants her to be. Okay, okay. Do you think he would do that to, to a woman in the United Kingdom? Because, like, in the UK, we have a lot of laws. Exactly. He so, won't do it in London. Okay, okay. So this, do you think this is why... Because apparently he was already... He was in Tunisia or something recently. Did you know about that? I know, and he was with hookers, calling them wives. Oh, of course. He does a lot of motor marriage, right? Yeah. Ah, that's how he sort of gets rounded, I guess, in his own mind, that all these prostitutes that he's going with are his wife for the temporary time. Yeah. Yeah, he likes, I from what I've, what I've heard, he likes the mutter marriage a lot. That, he is that, he, Sorry? He do it when I'm his, even when I used to be his wife by religion. Like he used to even do mut'a in London, in Morocco, like everywhere oh he God. goes. So, even when he was like committed to you, he would still yeah. do this. Yeah. So Modine, cheating. Sorry? So cheating. That's cheating. called cheating. Of course, of course. I mean, when you're married, of course, it's called cheating. But it seems that he doesn't really care. Um, that's uh, that's his thing. I mean. Technically, under Islamic law, though, he can marry four wives, but not without your permission, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Um, is there is there any other other things you would like to talk to? I know it's very late, so I, I've already kept you twenty minutes. I don't want to really keep you very long. Was there anything no, else you would like to talk about that 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 you'd like to say to the people? People say that I'm lying. And I'm 
attention seeker. I'm not. Wallah, I'm not. I'm just trying to get my right. I've been like going for it since 2015 December until now. He's not giving me any of my rights, not even the child passport. I told him I want nothing from you. But he want me to back to him, of course. Well, yeah, I mean, um, that... Yeah, that does seem seem very unusual since you clearly don't want to be with him and he seems to love prostitutes. I mean, if you if he divorces you, he would be free to, you know, go with prostitutes without any guilt. I, I, well, I guess he, he doesn't does, really have any guilt. He don't want to leave me because no one will marry him for real. But you know what? I forgot mm. to mention this. He begged me. There was like a, a time he begged me. He begged me. To let his friends come and sleep with me at the same time he does. He oh begged me God. for that. I swear in my life. I swear down. He wow. begged me for that for weeks. I wow. rejected him. And after I reje rejected him, he started telling people that I said, yeah, let, let your friends gangbang me and you get me to London. He oh, he wanted you to come to I London? Told... Sorry, to say again? He said to me, let me bring my friends and sleep with you. He begged me for that for weeks. And I said no. And yes. I kept rejecting him. And after I told my family what he said, he started telling his friends that I said, let your friends gangbang me and you take me to London. Wow. So he actually said that if you have like a gang sex or group sex with you and Modin and his friends, he will then bring you to London. Yeah. Wow. That that Did that's... I mention that I have to change my number five times since 2012 until 2016? Okay. Was he calling you all the time? No, not him. He's a friend. They were asking me to have a group sex with them and him oh. at the same time. Oh my goodness. Wow. Do you know if these friends were all Muslim as well, or? I know them. You know them? I know them. Most of them does the cunts who defend him on live. Oh, wow. Wow. So these are the guys who actually come online to sort of defend his honor, and they're the ones who were willing to have a group sex with another man's wife. Yeah, and he was saying that. And when I asked him, why are you doing this? Why are you treating me like shit? He says, I'm Shia, you are Sunni, you are Nasabi, I'm allowed to do whatever I want to you because you are Nasabiya. What's what's that? What does that mean? Nasabiya, it means those who are against Ahl Bayt. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Is that the it's Shia about thing? It's a religion thing. Sorry? It's about religion thing. Okay, okay. That, so it's like what? Are you? It's not like, is it like a coffer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he kind of said, because you're like a coffer woman or something, you can do this group sex. Yeah. He thinks like, uh, because I'm Sunni, he can treat me like shit. Oh, I see. You're Sunni. He's Shia. Okay. But why would he marry a Sunni girl? I'm his relative and I was in relationship with him for two years and a half before marrying him. Ah, okay. Okay. Wow. Wow, that is that is crazy. That is like, weirdly, this is like the most interesting story ever. This is the weird thing about this. Apart from the, the fact that I wanted to make a little joke about Modine and his, his homosexual sort of behavior. But this whole situation with you guys is, is unbelievable that this is, this is happening. This is like, this is straight out of like a movie. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable that these kind of people exist. Uh, okay, okay, look, uh, Mona, thank you so much. I'm not going to keep you because it's 25 minutes and I know it's very late. And um, we'll hopefully we'll do this when you have more time and, and it's earlier in the evening for you because I know, I know it's very late. And, and hopefully we can talk about other things as well. But thank you. Thank you so much for coming online. Uh, thank you for hosting me. Thank you a lot. Oh, yeah. No, no. You are more than welcome anytime you want. I know other people at 
uh, Speaker's Corner, they don't want to expose Modi in this way because they're, I don't know, for some reason, they're still kind of friendly with him. I am actually not, uh, I, first of all, I don't care about Modine, but I'm actually more concerned about the women that Modine is always trying to pick up. I'm actually more worried about those women because I wanted this person to be exposed for the kind of things he does to women, the way he treats them, the way he beats them up. So thank you so much for confirming some of the suspicions that I had. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, let's, uh, let's talk at an earlier time. Next time we'll, we'll arrange something. Uh, have yourself a wonderful night. Thank you. You too. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Okay. And, and that's, uh, that's, uh, that's what we got boys and girls. So, um, that's how that went. Uh, okay. Well, I, uh, I just wanted to, you know, I, I, I didn't have a lot of time. I wanted to discuss these things with Mona when I could, uh, because, um, you just don't know when you get another chance to um, to have these kind of conversations. I've been trying to get an opportunity, Mona said tonight. So I'm sorry about the the suddenness of this, um, but I think it was valuable, especially uh, to uh, to the people of the, the the women of Britain. I think this individual is deeply insidious. I think he covers it with. The, with this sort of comical, cartoonish character of his. But I think he's a genuine danger to the women of this country. If any woman out there ever hears this and, and you know, is thinking about or is involved with Modine in any way, um, my only recommendation is get out. Get out as soon as you can because this man is not only a sex fiend, uh, clearly a, a fan of prostitutes, which actually makes him a, a, a very dangerous candidate for STDs. Uh, but he's also a woman beater. He beats up women. And, you know, you heard it from his ex-wife. Uh, so, yeah, the galdom out in the world. <laughs> yeah, watch out, watch out, because this man, could his fist could be rearranging your face next if you're not careful. So please be careful if you're in any way, shape or form involved with this man. And as a public servant and a public service, as the Banksy ch channel is, I'd like to say thank you for Mona for being brave enough to still speak about this. Uh, and thank you for coming and listening. I'm sorry, guys, this is a very short one. I'm not entirely sure what else uh, what else I can discuss. I I don't want to I don't want to prolong this stream. I wanted to remain sole focus on what I consider to be a somewhat of a dangerous individual in this country. Um, I think the women in this in this in the United Kingdom, especially in the London area, should simply be careful. Be careful. Don't uh, don't look at his comic crazy antics recognize for the uh for the extremely dangerous and and sinister individual that this person is have a good night guys and uh, yeah we'll catch you on the next one oh and don't forget tickle your ass with a feather or maybe a creamy beige dildo <laughs> that modine uses <laughs> creamy beige creamy beige i honestly thought it would be a big black one Anyway, have a good night, guys. Ciao.